Hey peeps, what up? It's me, your guy in generation, and we're back with Trigger Happy Havoc and Dangan Rompa. And because I'm curious, I've checked on how long this game is. And only the main story is 33 hours. Just the main story. And completionists is 66 hours. And because I'm reading all of it, it's even longer. Um, yeah, and sorry again for no video yesterday. I was not home. And I didn't feel like recording either. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna record a few more, a few episodes today. Because I do not want to record every day. It's not like I need to comment on any comments of yours because I don't have any. Okay, anyways, uh, we left off with. We explored the school. Was what we were doing. Wait, I'm checking up this at the moment. And then, oh, you can see where everyone is. Oh, that's cool. There's a main stone. Cool. Okay. Oh, X opens this also. Wasn't there a button for the map? Right, this one. That was that is what I was curious about. Okay, we were everywhere, right? Yeah, everywhere we could go. Couldn't go in the swimming pool. Okay, so and um, we're supposed to go to Sayaka. There's a door bill next to the door. I guess I should use that. Hello. Good morning, Sayaka. Hi Makoto! Oh Makoto! Perfect timing! Huh? Um, listen, listen, I have a favor to ask. Sure. A favor? Um, I was just getting ready to head out. If that's okay, would you like to come with me? Maybe you could talk. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Where are you headed? Uh, um, oh, um, I've been thinking that there might be something around here I could use for self-defense. Self-defense? Um, well, I mean... Whoever's keeping us here could show up and attack us any time. You never know. Whoever trapped us here. Whoever represented us. Uh, whoever presented us with the rules for murdering each other. Whoever put us in this insane, insane position. She's right. We never know when I might attack. Um, so I just I want to be able to protect myself no matter what happens. A weapon to protect yourself. Well, now that I think about it, that display case and the gym entry they had a bunch of stuff. Maybe. <laughs> oh, the gym? Okay, let's go! Again. Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding! Seriously, I just have amazing intuition. She's psychic. Am I really so easy to predict? Anyway, should head to the gym. I'm just... Hey, it's walking around the school. We've got some good news. We can now teleport using the map. It's not the handbook. It's only since there's only a man or children where you want to go. However, you can only travel hallways and mark waypoints. Plus, you can teleport to places you haven't been or places you've blocked off. And depending on certain story moments, there will be times when you won't be able to teleport at all. Finally, try not to teleport inside any walls. There's a chance you can get lost. Forever. Well then, good luck and have fun. Oh, damn! There she is! Hi, tall girl. Hey, um, you're going to the gym, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> good, then let's get moving! Okay, I was afraid she would follow me. Where was the gym? I like walking. Where, where was the... I mean, that's a bathhouse. Oh, wasn't it like the school grounds? Yeah, because it wasn't up here. Wait. Okay, finally we can look around. Makoto, if you're looking for the dirt in the gym, this isn't it. Oh yeah, I guess you're right, sorry about that. Okay, I can't look around. Fine. So, oh damn, there's more people. Nice. Let's talk. Toko together with those other two. Quite a combination. What's your problem? What do you want? You look like you have something to say. Oh no, I was thinking that you three make a pretty unique team. <laughs> Let me make this perfectly clear. Me hanging out with two people who have muscles that, that the brains should be is not the choice. 
Just a second. Wow, that was super mean. Yesterday you were complaining how nobody invited you. That's the only reason I asked you to come with us. Mm -hmm. I did never ask you to, to do that. Stop trying to drag me further into your meat dimension. Mm. Jeez, I can't believe she just ran off. Do you think we should go after her? Wait. You shouldn't pressure her any further. Well... Oh yeah, good point. They like water and oil anyway. It'd be weird if they did get along. Hey Makoto! Well, look who it is! Sup guys! What are you up to? Yeah! We're picking up where we left off yesterday. I'm really hoping we find something today. If we do, I'll be sure to let everyone know ASAP. Great. Hmm. You have to find some way out of here, no matter what. Um. And that's why you went with Hina and Toko. However. Well, Hina's the one that invited Toko. I have trouble talking to people directly. Ah, understandable. Where does this lead? Oh, I can walk there. Fine. Oh, wait. To this area. But at least they allow me to talk to everybody. I mean, seriously? Man, what the hell is with this little hatch thing? It's really on there, that's for damn sure. Anyway, there's nothing to do around here. Gonna freaking die of boredom. Huh. Uh. And being stuck in here is keeping me from wasting toward my dream too. Hey, um, your dream? Yeah! Yeah, you kind of musician. You can sense my aura, right? The strongest vocals of the century right here. How cool is that? God, I feel so cool getting to say that in front of a national celebrity. Dream. Did you say something? <laughs> oh, sorry, it's nothing. Come on, let's go! Mondo, what are you doing? What? Trying to find a way out. I figured I'd give it another shot. Oh, this There's sucks. gotta be a way to bust this thing open. Hell yeah! But I suck at singing stuff up, so I guess I'll let you guys figure it out. Hey, damn it! Once it's time to act, though, you just let me know. I'll show you what a weird man can do. Wow, sounds like we can really count on you. But it do. Okay. Let's just continue to jump because apparently I'm not allowed to look around. Thanks to Sayaka. Hmm, okay, look at this. There's all kinds of stuff on the shelves up above. Oh, really? It's all kinds of. Yep. Okay, fine. It's a helmet of some sort. Why is something like that on display? Ah, nice, a coin. Is this a sword? Oh no, I think it's just a replica. Still, it's pretty impressive. It's completely covered in the golden coating. But, jeez, I barely touched it and I got that gold stuff all over my hands. Uh, um. Wow, you're right. Your hands are totally gold. Even just for self-defense, I think it's a little... Well, it's still better than nothing, I guess. Hey, um... You should take it with you. That might help living up in your room a little. You think so? <laughs> but I guess you better be careful taking it back. You should wrap it in newspaper or something. And just like that, it's been decided. I don't see anything I could really use for the self-defense. Hey, don't worry about it. It's not like you need it right away, right? Plus, if anything were to happen, when the time comes... I'll protect you. Huh? You protect me? <laughs> Thank you for saying that. If I've got you on my side, I guess I don't need a weapon after all. Sayaka giggled as she said that. That mysterious smile. I can tell it comes from the heart. It makes me feel at ease. When I look at her, I honestly feel like I can do anything. Oh my god. I don't want womans in this game. <laughs> Okay, we can stop looking for a weapon then. But as long as we're here, let's hang out a bit more. Yeah, let I just want to look at stuff. Oh my god, leave me be. A plague. I guess it's to commemorate some kind of championship. Yeah, we this fucking thing and you know. It's a gold statue of Buddha. But why is something like that on this plate? A 
Why would... It's a statue. Of course it's on display. What else would you do with a statue? Some terracotta clay figures. They don't look like the kind of thing you'd put in a high school gym. I swear to God, this man. Okay, I looked at everything. Let's continue looking. Yep. Yeah. Another coin. You get coins for like just looking at everything again and again. Okay, see, I see here. Okay, cross it. Okay. I know I said I wanted to talk to you, but now that we're here, I don't really know what to talk about. Sorry. And I was the one who invited you to come with me too. Sorry. It's okay. I mean, if there's nothing to talk about, then we can just not talk, right? Huh? You don't have to force yourself to talk. We can just, I don't know, stare off into space or whatever. Mm. Stare off into space. Oh, but you're probably super bored just standing around doing nothing. Uh. No, it's not that it's boring, it's just... I... I've never really done it before. I don't have a lot of time to just do nothing. I guess that makes sense. You're not a normal high school student like me. You've got tons of stuff to do every day. Um, listen. Hey, um, this is kind of out of nowhere, but... Makoto, do you have a dream? <laughs> well... What about you, Sayaka? What's your dream? I love to hear. I... I... My dream is... I've always wanted to be a star, as long as I can remember. I grew up without a mother, you know? And my dad worked really late every night. I was always home alone. I was just a kid, you know? So I was really lonely. But it all changed when I saw a pop star on TV for the first time. She was so pretty, like a princess. And she could sing and dance. But more than anything else, there was her smile. Looking at her smile, I could feel my loneliness melting away. I decided that's what I wanted to be someday. I wanted to give that kind of encouragement to others. <laughs> Eventually, that became my dream. That's so amazing, though. You were able to actually fulfill your lifelong dream. Honestly, it's really incredible. I... I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I mean it. Even some things that weren't so pleasant. She fucked her way into being popular. Huh? You see? I honestly believe that as long as you kept chasing your dreams, someday they had to come true. But to do that, you can't take your eye off of your dream, not even for a second. Even if sometimes it's a bad dream. Whether you're awake, whether you're asleep. To make your dream a reality, you have to keep your gaze fixed on it no matter what. Um in that world if you lose focus for even a split second you get left behind you have to keep on swimming against the current without even taking time to breathe that's the kind of world my dream lives in I is it really that tough is it not fun at all oh no oh no don't get a wrong idea it's super fun but but that's exactly what scares me huh uh, um i enjoy every single day i wake up and get to do what i do Everyone in our group is amazing. We're rivals in a way, but they all mean so much to me. We've been performing together since we were young, so they're all like family to me. Without them, I would have given up on my dream a long time ago. To work together and fulfill our dreams together, that has brought me so much happiness. But that's why... But that's the thing that scares me the most. If the world gets tired of us, then what happens? What happens to us? Then the dream dies, those wonderful days come to an end, and everyone goes their separate ways. Sayaka. She's trembling. She must be terrified. She worked so hard, sacrificed so much, to get where she is. She must be terrified of losing it. You see? So that's the reason I decided to come to Hope's Peak. Huh? What do you mean? Uh, um... Well, they say that if you graduate from here, success is basically guaranteed. Which means I could keep on performing with my best friends forever and ever. At least that's what I thought. I really did believe that, but now we're trapped here with no way out. They're probably waiting for me. <sighs> While I'm in here, the world out there is forgetting about me. Minute by minute, we're all disappearing. But still, Sayaka, I can't Why? afford to be stuck in here. 
That was the first time I heard a choir from deep within herself. She sounds so desperate. Then I can understand why she'd feel that way. I've trapped here this way. The dream she put so much effort into is on the verge of disappearing forever. And that isn't something that can be fixed with a few kind words. The weight she's carrying. I can't even imagine it. Sorry. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to complain. Uh, um. I kinda killed the mood, huh? No, not at all. Sorry. I'm really sorry. Um, Sayaka. Actually, are you hungry? Before we head back, why don't we go to the dining hall and get some food? So... Okay! You want me to make her something to eat? I might not look like it, but I'm actually a pretty good cook. Wow, really? What's your specialty? Chili oil. You mean the condiment? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding! She bursts out laughing. Her earlier mood disappeared, replaced by the bright smile I'd quickly grown used to. But how did it happen so fast? It was almost like a mask, like some kind of neutral expression. Because some people are pretty good at hiding the true feelings, Makoto. Anyway, we headed to the dining hall to get something to eat. Before returning to our rooms. So now it's like, what? Midday? The only thing in my room is a fake sword covered in gold. All it does is make me feel that much more uncomfortable. Anyway, there's still plenty of time left in the day. I really don't feel like just sitting here. Maybe I'll take a look around. Ah, oh, this free time would... Sure, tell me all about it. As you live all your school life here, you will be given free time at certain points. During your free time, you can spend time with your fellow classmates to deepen your friendships. You can also give them presents, which can potentially give them an even better impression of you. You can get these presents from the Mono Mono machine in the school store. Come by early and often. At certain points, you'll witness intimate events and new info will be added to each person's report card. These events can also be um, open up new skills, which will prove useful as everything plays out. We strongly encourage you to develop and deepen as many friendships as you can. Also, keep in mind that when you talk with a classmate, time will pass. When you're finished, it will automatically return you a room. After a certain amount of time passes, your free time will come to an end and the story will progress. If you prefer not to engage in free time, you can always choose to simply go to sleep to skip it. We wouldn't recommend this approach, but if you absolutely must press forward with the story, then... Anyway, why don't you try it out by spending some time with Miss Sayaka Maizono? She's the ideal part to begin with, don't you think? I don't think so. Let's look around. Yep, uh, yep. I just want to make sure I get all the coins. Trash can. I don't see shit in it. Some kind of rolling. No pad. Maybe I should write down what. What? Maybe I should write down what Sayaka told me earlier. Then he does me. I think what comes to watch it. Blah, blah, blah. This is my best possible school. Let's put it in the door frame. I'll have to make sure my military opening it. Squeak. Okay, I'm honest. Is this would even make this kind of thing? It has monochroma core written across it. I guess they've covered all the details. Leave there. Yes! I wanna check fini finish looking around. Oh, there's Junko. I not want, I don't want to pass any time just yet, just talking with them. I wanna look around. Because Sayaka stopped me from doing so. I think it's a nice <laughs> It's a nice way to stop the episode. The surveillance camera, I hate it yet, it's not watch me, I keep in mind, I not heard it. See that gets a coin, even though we looked at every single stupid camera. That would be easy to get this off. Weird that I can't look at the blackboard. Oh well. Can you be sure it's white? I don't know what to believe anymore. Oh my god. Oh, it's a school quest. Blah blah blah. Okay, here's Taka, what's his name? Must they get shown on where they are, anyways? On the map in the thingy. 
so he's here where we woke up just the desk I woke up on and first got here and the plant was still laying there I have absolutely no desire to look at it ever again monitors clock night and day don't need much to me anymore not a coin I'm just what you said something new to this how am I supposed to get this thing off? Does it really not come off? Seriously, I just can't believe this. And it's bolted on them. Yes, the area. Okay, because I do want to go to the school store. And I get presents. But she must be locked. Okay, the AV room. Let's take a look. Damn. It's a lot of stuff. It's a DVD player, but I don't see any actual discs nearby. DVD player is useless by itself. If you had something to watch, at least it helped pass the time. Coin. Nice. Those boom boxes. Oh, there's another monitor. Okay. Monitors. Blah, blah, blah. Is there another experience coming up? Rain's camera. Okay. Leon is also here. But there's a school store. The nurse. But she must be locked. Another bathroom. Look. There is nothing at all to look at. Girls bathroom maybe over there and there's set boy gym safe escape blah. okay so we looked pretty much ev everywhere this just leads back to exactly here and here the person the guy that I don't care about the mailbox, there's nothing in it, and the coin. Perfect. What as many coins as possible. What's this? Is. Stuff written on it. Let's leave the area. Hey, cool. Now the store's open. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Get everything. A vending machine. I guess this must be the school store then. Of course, a monitor. One of the monitors. Yep, this is definitely the school store. But this is kind of a Japanese Western blend. It seems more like a cluttered antique store. Ah, another coin. Yes. Let's see what else can we look at? Of course, the CD. Oh. What's this? Oh, maybe if you turn it up, the price will come out. What do you try like your hand that against the almighty monomoto machine? Learn more about it. During your stay here at Hope's Peak Academy, you'll find coins scattered throughout the school. These mono coins are treasures valued by kings and thieves alike. You can use the handbook menu to see how many mono coins you currently have. And if you put the coins on this machine here, there's a chance you could win a prize. The more coins you use, the better chance of you have of getting something new. Check the present section of the handbook menu for the prizes. Do you like to try your hand? Yes! Alright, let's give it a shot. 16 points. Oh, there we go. One coin. Got an item! Yay! Oh, we have the repeat percent chance. That's cool. Got an item! So at first, we're just using one coin because the repeat chance is very low. And I don't want to waste coins on, on a potential low repeat chance. Got an item! 
Lucky! Oh, did I get a second one? Cool! Nice! Cat dog. Okay. Fine. Got an item! Oh, nice! Game Boy. Well, not the Game Boy, but the video game console. Handheld. Got an item! Oh, do I have to figure out who likes what? That's gonna be a pain. Got an item! That was just... That was cloning. Got an item! Any more? No, donuts! Oh, I want a donut now. Oh, maybe I'll make some today. I don't know if you know if we have frying oil. Got an item! This is great. Who doesn't like spending their whole episode on this? A book! Oh, lucky! Nice! <laughs> this is great. Reminds me of Just Dance. Got an item! That also has the vending machine. Got an item! That also looks like baby clothes. Oh, too sweet old. Got an item! Oh, I already have this one. That's too bad. So one coin wasted. Oh, nice! Bunny earmuffs, I guess. Got an item! Okay, so we got 15 items. 16, 17, 18! Because we had three luckies. Nice! That's... Okay. Uh, we'll also press R, yes. I should probably get going. Okay, peeps. We got a lot of presents. We're gonna look at them in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed watching. And that you're looking forward to a lot of episodes of this game. Uh, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will see you not see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye!